Welcome back to another reaction, guys, and welcome back to another Megadeth reaction. So soon we'll get another video of second song, Night Stalkers Chapter 2. And this time around, we got Ice T, and I'd love me some body count. So this is going to be, I think, a good combination of two musicians coming together. Uh, I like the first song. I wasn't particularly blown away with it. It looks like the general consensus was about the same, that it's fun, it's good, just nothing mind-blowing. Uh, I'm hoping to see something a little bit more dynamic in this particular song, and perhaps also another good music video. Those who are new to this channel, I do tend to be a critical on my channel, but it's more in the conversation of the music itself and how I feel about it rather than a, a criticism of Megadeth or something like that. So with that in mind, let's get into it. And if you enjoy those style of reactions, make sure to subscribe down below for more. And give me your requests. It's like the dying and the dead. Concealed in the night from the light of the moon. Undetected between the heavens, the stars, and the seas. They seize the night when it's dark, like inside a tomb. They leave their flat black body armor dreams. Light it up from fruit to deliverance to retribution. To the very last beat of a dead man's pulse. You can hear the thunder roll. You can hear the edges roar. It causes the crowd to quake, to buck and convulse. I'm really liking how it's starting. Uh, it sounds different. I can't necessarily, like in the other one, I had like a, a feeling where I pinpointed what it sounds like from before from Megadeth's uh, repertoire. It does sound like they're more modern stuff, but so far this sounds actually pretty good. I like what he's doing. He's with kind of lower tone uh, Dave Mustaine's voice. I've always loved that lower tone that he does. Uh, he's not the best vocalist in the world, but I think he's always done a good job for what Megadeth is and what thrash metal is. Like, you don't necessarily have to be like the most phenomenal singer as long as you have a unique voice and a memorable voice. I have a feeling this song would be heavier live. It would probably sound really heavy live. Whereas if the production has this kind of a, a different sound and vibe that it's giving to it, it's going to be interesting when Ice-T jumps in how it's going to fit the overall structure because I think Ice-T has a very aggressive way of uh, doing his vocals even as a rapper when he was uh, doing his thing. Um, let's see what interesting places this song also goes to because it's seven minutes long almost. Yo, 
I love it. He sounds like straight up from body count and the, the rhythm automatically matches him so well. Okay, I'm gonna be excited to see how this goes. In the dark and night, loaded with ranges and Delta Force special ops shooters, locked and loaded, games over bitches, got you in my night vision, about to let this 30 millimeter cannon go. You never seen us coming, so there's no chance of running. Nothing you do can stop them. They're gonna get your body down alive. You can run, but you know they will find you. Death waits in the dark, and they own the night. It's weird. My feelings kind of all over the place with this song, and I'm going to be as honest as I can be about it. So, from if you just logically sit down, look at it from a technical perspective, this this is actually good songwriting going on. There's nice solos. There's nice changes. There's heavier parts. There's slower parts. The way the two vocalists play off one another. It's like everything is kind of there if you if you're just being like objective about it. But once you include your own emotions and expectations and what you would like to hear in the nicest possible way of saying it and this is with an absolute love for dave mustaine i'm saying this as a fan i've seen megadeth live many many times i've enjoyed them live every single time i love dave and everything he's done for heavy metal music but it just lacks something and it it doesn't have the same energy you know father time shows it on the band that they're just not as angry not as aggressive not as as innovative anymore just because you know they've gotten older and you can't stop father time it's gonna happen to everybody uh, but it doesn't automatically make this like i can't i can't just like forgive it like oh yeah yeah this is the best thing you can expect from you know nearly a 60 year old guy uh it's just it's okay honestly it's like it's kind of more of the same of what you heard before i think i would have fun with this album when i'm listening to it but ultimately, like the last several records from Metallica, from Slayer, from all these big guys are, for the most part, quite forgettable. And it's the ones that stayed hungry and stayed lower in, in, in the, the respect tier. Like I've mentioned Testament last time. Like I feel like Testament never got the due that they're getting now. And it, it kept them hungry. It kept them writing really killer riffs and music because... They never had that comfort level that somebody like Megadeth or Metallica had, you know? And that's kind of how it feels. It just feels a little bit deflated, if I'm honest with you guys. Like, objectively, everything there, energy-wise, a little deflated. And I understand Dave's health problems aside. Like, I understand that. But I'm just being this, as, as brutal as I can be. Like, I, I don't... Yeah. Rattlehead. Ooh, that bass line.
yeah, I like this little part, second part here. It's a little heavier, right? The outro. It's a little harsher. I wish the whole song was like that. Yeah, I think it's a solid single. It's a solid single, it's a solid song. It's about as good as their stuff in the past couple albums have been, which I think is pretty good. Sure as hell, sure shit better than what Metallica has been producing and Slayer, what they start producing at the end of their career. Um, out of these like really successful thrash metal bands that are still doing their thing, I mean really successful, like Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax, I are the big four, I think Megadeth is doing the best. But I prefer the stuff of Exodus and Testament and Overkill where that emotional impact is still accommodated with that technical skill. If anything, Exodus only became more technical. Testament has only become more creative with their music, I feel like. Um, but, you know, I am, despite my criticism and my harsh take on Megadeth, I say that as a fan. And there's different fans, right? There's going to be ultra fans that love everything Megadeth puts on. They just, they just like it. They're a fan of it. Uh, there's somebody like me and my brother, which we absolutely love Megadeth, but we have a heyday with Megadeth, and we just kind of enjoy what's out now. We, we're, we're sticking around for the end. And then there's people who are just like, ah, Megadeth lost it. They suck now, and now I'm going to be gone. There's different caps. I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I still enjoy their stuff. I still love seeing Dave doing his thing. I'm glad to see that he's healthier. I'm glad to see he's still kicking ass and has a kick-ass beard that he had at one point in one of the photos. I thought it was really cool. So I'm, I'm happy just to, to know that they're still around. With that being said, I would love to hear from you guys as well. Kind of what was your opinion on this song and how did you feel about it? And make sure to also enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the summer, if there's summer around you. <laughs> and keep it metal.